everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. We are going to shop my stash and pick products for the upcoming week. Here are products from <laughs> from last week. We're gonna go over those products and then jump into next week pro next week's products. If that sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Okay, real quick. Last week we had the Urban Decay. Uh, heat palette absolutely loved this so we're gonna um, put that back we had Laura Geller this is what I'm wearing today I'm also wearing the naked heat uh, pink buttercream love this I'm actually gonna keep this out and the Becca Moonstone I'm also gonna keep out I didn't get as much use as I wanted we will put back the buxom glitz factor it paired really nicely with the naked heat um, Urban Decay After Glow and Fetish, we're going to keep that out. Um, the Maybelline Master Chrome, Multi Gold, love it, we'll put that back. Um, Naked Skin, no wait, Naked Sticks, <laughs> Copper Foil, love that, we'll put that back, eyeshadow pencil. And then, um, the Smashbox Step by Step Contour, I like dug into this last week, I absolutely loved it, but we will put that back. I also used the Catrice Fresh It Up quite a few times so we will put that back and then um these two I'm gonna decide later the born this way I'm wearing both of these today and they're flawless so let's dive into my collection and see what we're gonna pull all right if you're new here I am doing a low buy slash no buy it's been like seven eight weeks since I have purchased makeup and so one thing I did was basically create a curated makeup collection um, based off of my full collection. So I still have my full collection and we're actually going to dive into it a little bit today. But it's been kind of fun to just kind of pull out set products and really get a lot of use out of them and to really dig in and not be distracted by other makeup. This has also taught me that if I had a collection this size, like I would be so bored and it would probably grow to be as big as it is right now. But it has been really fun just playing with what's in here. So I will go ahead and put some of this stuff stuff back that we pulled from last week um and I did reorganize this a little bit because I wanted to be able to fit my I don't know if you can see my makeup brushes in here um just to clear my vanity but let's put this back put this back um and then I said I was keeping those out okay so we are going to mostly pull from in here because there's still quite a bit I haven't used. But I also want to dive into my actual collection to grab some other stuff out. So for primer this week, we are going to choose the Laura Mercier, Laura, Laura Mercier uh, Foundation Primer in Radiance. I absolutely love this stuff. So we will pull that. And then for foundation, I actually... um. I want to go into my collection and pull my Pro Glow because um, I think the runniness of it, <laughs> like the consistency of it, will pair well with some of the foundations I'm trying to pan that are just a little dark for me. But I find since they're such runny formulas, and I'll show you here at the end, it's just not working with what I've been pairing it with. And this one might work, but I want... I don't know. We'll just pull the Pro Glow a little bit later. And then I do want to go into back to the Makeup Forever um, Matte Velvet Skin in Y225. And I want to play with this a little bit more as a setting powder. I did a couple weeks ago, but I only used it like once or twice like that. So I wanted to get a little bit more use out of it in that way. And let's see. We already talked about that. And I guess this concealer is the only one I have pulled. So I guess we'll go back to the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Almond. I really do like this. I think this is very much a product that anyone would like. It's not finicky. It plays well with other products. doesn't super sink into like fine lines. Um, but it's not heavy coverage. So I guess if that's your thing, um, you might not really like that. Um, for bronzer, let's see, I want to, 
Let's go with the Sephora bronzer in Fiji. I've been talking about this one a lot recently on my channel. I just think it's really nice, especially if you have dry skin, which is what I have. It's really nice to just add that glow back in. So we will pick that out for sure. And then, let's see, let's see. We still have the two bronzers that we're keeping. Wait, hi, wait, blush, blush. <laughs> the two blushes that we're keeping in. Um, but I really, really, really want Marc Jacobs. Right now, <laughs> this is Kink and Kisses. I love it. Oh my gosh. This is one, like, I don't pull it a ton, but when I do pull it, I'm like, why don't I pull you more? You know? So, we are going to pull that guy. And I also, let's get a little blush heavy this week. Hourglass Mood Exposure. Haven't pulled this in so long, and this might be one that I pull more so when fall gets here because we're a couple weeks out from official fall, even though YouTube fall is here alive and well. <laughs> uh, highlights we are gonna keep the Becca Moonstone in that we pulled out last week, and let's just go ahead and put in um, Lorac Starlight. Oh, yeah, let's. Let's do that. So we have two highlighters, so that's good. Let's get back to Amrezy. Oh, man. Okay, I think, all right, I really, really, really enjoyed the, the warmness that is the Naked Heat. I just thought maybe I was moving away from warm eyeshadows because I didn't wear a lot of eyeshadows this summer. But using this all week, I'm like, no, no, no. Warm eyeshadows are just what works for my face, okay? So why don't we just go ahead and grab out the Modern modern Renaissance. And it has like a little coolness. Hello, there we go. It has a little coolness to it, but you can definitely stay warm if you want as well. Love Warm Taupe, um, Realgar, um, Golden Orchard. Sure, <laughs> burnt orange, raw sienna, love it, love it, love it. So we will go ahead and uh, put pull this for the week, and I think we'll just stick to that eyeshadow palette. I know this is kind of more summer, like especially as we're in the last kind of couple weeks of summer, but maybe I'll pull it next time and get one more little rotation out of this before we switch it up again, because there's still some products I haven't really dug into that I feel like I could if I had a little more time but then I'm kind of ready to switch things up you know but uh yeah okay I don't know I think we pulled all that we need to pull from here so let's just look through my collection for a couple other things okay guys so I know that a lot of you rotate your makeup collections with me and a lot of you are doing no buys or low buys or just trying to be more mindful about your buying in general. So, uh, Penny Lynn, who you know down in the comment section, I know uh, she comments with you guys and you guys comment back. You guys have a little community down there. Love it. Um, she suggested we, like, as a community, do themed project pans. And I love that idea because... Um, it's kind of like we agree on a theme and then we shop our collections together and just kind of discover new makeup like that. So if you like that idea, let me know what theme we should start with. Um, one thing we could do is like neglected makeup. Um, so makeup that we have in our collection but that we just for some reason don't end up using. Um, we could do makeup that is close to its expiration date. We could do um, high end, low end, I don't know. Let me know down below what you think and if you see a comment or a suggestion you like, just like it and then I'll know what's, um, what you guys want to do. And we'll just do that, sprinkle that in here and there. Um, not necessarily do it every week, but you know, every few weeks or so, it'd be fun to do. So let me know if you like that idea and what theme we should do first. And I might actually do a, another uh, makeup organization curated makeup with our first theme so then I can kind of pull out for a few weeks from that theme if that makes sense so um in here I wanted to grab out a couple of things I feel like I need to shake these every time I come in here but um 
one of my friends slash personal training clients. I always say that like when you train someone, like you just, especially with how social I am, you just get to know so much about them. And one of my girls is like, I don't wear makeup and my friends tease me about it. So I think I want to get into makeup. I was like, girl, you're talking to the right person right now. So as we train and she's on her like, you know, walk, drinking water and taking a little rest, we talk about makeup and I love it. But she wants to do something like natural and she had a Laura Mercier sample. And so I'm going to go ahead and pass this along to her. This is the Laura Mercier uh, Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector. I did a review on it and I just don't love it. And I know I said in that review I'll try it a couple more times to see if I like it. But I just don't like it. It's okay. I have come to the point of realizing I like medium coverage foundations. I don't like light coverage. I don't like heavy coverage. I like that true, medium, glowy, hydrating, luscious. Like, I just, mmm, mmm, mmm. You know? So, I thought I would just go ahead and pass this to her while I've only used it a couple of times. And it's still really good condition to pass along to someone. So, we're going to move that out of my collection. And then the thing that I wanted to pull out of here is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Um, mine's in 202. I think because this is so light um, for me right now that it will mix really well in products like the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. This is the Dewy and Smooth. It's too dark, but the consistencies of these are pretty similar. And I think this will lighten it up just enough that it will create a good... Um, a good color for me so we're gonna pull that out and is that all I'm also trying to use up another product the skin feels good that is a little bit darker but this has more of a thicker consistency very similar to the CC plus but I might try it with the pro glow and see how we feel about it um Oh, this is one I need to really, like, jump on using. But, again, it's light coverage, so I don't love it. So, I think I will have to mix it with something. But just funny, when I first got into makeup, I thought this was, like, too heavy of a coverage. And now that I'm where I'm at now, I'm like, Meh, not so much. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that was all that I truly wanted to pull out of here. Um... Was that it? I think I just wanted to grab the Laura Mercier, the Dewy for the Dewy, oh, and the Infallible for the Dewy and Smooth words, hello. I did post my um, Beauty Room makeover on Wednesday, so go check that out. And I did not post a video on Monday because it was a holiday. And my channel typically doesn't do well, videos don't do well on the holidays, so I just didn't post one then. Um, let's see. But I have a world market haul coming up next week and then my um my finale for the fun in the summer. Everyone else has already posted theirs, but I'm running a little late on mine, but that will be up next week. Okay, I think ooh, I bet I wonder if this uh flower beauty light illusion it has a pretty similar consistency to the skin feels good. I wonder and that might even go well with this one as well mm, let's just pull them all why not <laughs> I used to have such like few ugh, I used to have such a small foundation collection and now I have a big one and I think one of my goals for next year is to um no buy certain parts of my collection until I've used everything up and foundations and primers is one category that I'm just not gonna buy anything else until I've literally used one two three four five six and then the ones that are up here and then same with my primers because the, the liquids just go bad so quickly compared to powder products that I think if I you know just limit myself in that category will be good um but I will say um when I get my next YouTube payout, which for me, it takes about four months for me to get it. So I'm maybe two months away. Um, I am going to do a makeup haul with that money. So if you want to start letting me know what you'd like me to review or buy, 
I will make a list. But that is everything. Let's put it all together. Guys, I wanted to show you my makeup real quick. I kind of been liking these little pop-ins on the weekly makeup basket. So I do have on the um, Born This Way by Too Faced. And since it is so dark for me, I put the uh, Healthy Foundation kind of in my T-zone and then um, blended this in with the rest of my face. So that is what my foundation is. And then I have the Born This Way concealer under my eyes. And I did go ahead and set kind of one way I've been using the Smashbox contour palette this week is to use this highlight color to set under my eyes in my T-zone. And then I use this bronzer as well. And I like that it's not super intense. And then for highlights, we use the Maybelline Master Chrome. I just, oh gosh, it's just stunning. You know, it's just really nice. And then for blush, it's just luscious, right? It's Laura Geller. This is the pink buttercream that we pulled last week. And then we are pulling it again. I just, mm, mm, mm. So good. And then, as I said before, I have the Naked Heat. I mixed in um, Cayenne and, and Fuego, these two right here. And then on my lid is Scorch. So these three are what make up my eye look today. And it's just simple, but glam, and I love it. And I am finally, like, years behind on this, but the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise is what I've been wearing on my lashes. So beautiful. I've been getting our questions on if my lashes are real or fake. And I'm like, they're this. <laughs> and then on my lips, I have on the Laura Mercier and Free Spirit. I really like this formula. It's a little bit thicker for a lip gloss. Um, so it wears just a little bit longer than an average lip gloss, but it's a really pretty pigmented color. So that is everything. And then I did spray it with the NYX Dewy Spray, and I have been really enjoying this a lot. The sprayer on it is super nice. So that is what we are doing on the face. It's really glowy, and I like how it looks. Like it's glam, but like low-key glam, you know? So, uh, 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 uh. all right, let's put this mess over here let's put it away all right so these go up here we are foundation heavy this week y'all we are foundation oh, oh, oh that was dangerous okay this is gonna go to the side to go to uh, my friends here i think this well this yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah. okay she's going up there all the face products will fit in here it just makes my life a little bit easier when I am applying my makeup but, no. okay perfect and then we will go ahead and put this this is Project Pan. This is our palette. There we go. Sorry, the window is like backlighting this so it looks dark. But this is what we are working with for the upcoming week. So we have all the foundations and the one primer lip products just live up here and in this drawer and then we went ahead and put in eyeshadow palettes project pan items and then the blush okay and here we have concealer highlight and a mac painterly and over here are blushes highlight bronzer and setting powder so whoop 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 thank you all so much for watching I appreciate your time today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.